International friendly action at Lockhart Stadium. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, former home of Gerd Mueller, Nene Cubillas, George Best, the rest of the Fort Lauderdale strikers. Now used for international friendlies like this match between Honduras and Chile on Sunday night. And the Chileans sent the first shot across the bow. Seven minutes in, Luis Figueroa one on one with Noel Valladares, but the Honduran keeper makes the stop. Good reactions. <laughs> No oh. sé si me apuré o vi I mean, el lado derecho del bastante cubierto que se Capaz si hubiese sido un poco más cauteloso lo hubiese hecho. Been a little bit more careful. I would have done something different. But I, that's just part of the game. Marcelo Bielsa's side was left with 10 men when Jose Fuensalida was sent off just minutes after coming on as a substitute. But Chile managed to keep the Hondurans off the board despite the numerical advantage. Renaldo Rueda decided to shuffle the deck at the half. He brought Carlos Pavón in for Saúl Martínez and Danilo Turcias came on for Emir Martínez. The substitutions brought the Hondurans to life in the second half and 77 minutes in, the subs made their presence felt. Pavón found himself on the receiving end of a Turcios cross and Honduras took a 1-0 lead with less than 15 minutes left to play. Chile struggled to recover and Honduras never looked back. Roberto Ceres it out, fouled Oscar Garcia in the box. American referee Shane Moody pointed to the spot on 84 minutes. Toronto FC playmaker Amado Guevara converted the penalty to make it 2-0. That was the final. A nice win for Honduras ahead of a very busy 2009 schedule that includes the final stage of the World Cup qualifiers. Well, I mean, Chile is a very strong team. I mean, besides that they have 10 men. Uh, heading into today, would they be able to pull it over?